record it. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Dream Team Chat on a Tuesday. Tonight, we are talking about transition. What is it? Why do we do it? And how do we do it well, right? How do we transition um, into the next season of our business um, with success? And so we're going to be kind of breaking that down, me and Alex both hitting this um, for you guys, because we recognize that we have some people here who have never done transition before. Um, but also it's good to have like a refresher. And honestly, like things have changed, I feel like with transitions, um, the things that we used to purchase for transitions or the way that we used to go about it uh, kind of looks different now. And so it's fun to kind of just like refresh our minds, get some new ideas and just talk about like the layout of what February this next month is going to look like as we transition transition into um, spring and summer, which is like crazy. I feel like we just came into fall and winter, but here we are. Um, we're getting ready for summertime, which is awesome. So I'm going to just start out like super basic. What I'm going to be chatting with you all about right now is what transition is. And so if you're new here and you're like, okay, y'all keep throwing this word around, but I'm not really sure what you mean. Um, transition is just this February. I keep saying this month, but like what we're stepping into tomorrow is February 1st. Um, that month is the month in between the season that we are coming out of. And, um, and the month ahead, March is the new season that we're getting ready to enter, right? Okay, so we're in fall and winter right now. We're transitioning into our spring and summer catalog, our spring and summer season. Um, you know, since he has a lot of things going on in the spring and summer, we have a lot of things going on in the fall and winter. And so we take a month and we transition our business into that new season. And this happens twice a year, right? We have to do it twice because we transition into spring and summer and then come, I think it's September, um, we will transition back into fall and winter, um, which is awesome. And that's crazy to think about, but trust me, time is going to go by fast. And pretty soon we're going to be talking about transition to fall and winter. Um, so yeah, it's just this month in between the two seasons and it's, um, it's set for us to be able to intentionally work our business to get ready for that transition. And since he sets us up really well with how we do that, um, but truly what we're uh, focusing on is the reality that since he discounts our catalog for um, this month, for February, they're going to discount the entire catalog um, for 10%. It's going to be 10% off the entire catalog with some exclusions, including, um, Alex, you might have to help me here, but one of the exclusions I know is the... Um, the perfect Sensi system, because that one is already at a higher discount. Um, and so that's the two warmers and the six bars that will not be 10% off. And I believe the whiff box is not 10% off and licensed is not 10% off. Um, and so if I'm missing anything, you can let me know. But those three things are the exclusions and LTOs. So any LTOs that come in the month of February will not be discounted unless they state that it's discounted. Um, but what's really awesome is that we're getting back to the basics of our catalog and it gives you an opportunity to explore your catalog, really dig your heels into um, what's inside of there and use that as a marketing communication tool with your customers to be talking about things inside the catalog um, and the sale that we're having. Uh, the cool thing that they're doing this year, I can't remember if they did it last year, but the cool thing they're doing this year is they are doing the things that are going away from the catalog. So things that are being discontinued will be up to 30% off. Um, so my guess is, is that Things that, this is not confirmed, but this is me and Alex were talking about this. So I think that things are, that are being discontinued from the catalog will be 20% off and things that are leaving the catalog for good. So like Dan talked about um, our pet stuff, our scent soft, our dish soap, um, our sugar scrub, um, uh, our Sensi soap, those things that are leaving the catalog and only going to be returning as LTOs, I believe those will be 30% off. That is not confirmed. Do not quote me on that, but that is our speculation. Um, and so we'll see what Sensi pops up tomorrow. Um, and it will be really exciting, but using those 
um, those extreme discounts, right? To be able to have conversations with our customers to allow them an opportunity to stock up for a really great discount um, is what this transition month provides, right? So regardless if these discounts are this high in the future, we're always gonna have the 10% off for the entire catalog. At least um, that's always been my understanding of it. And it gives you a really great chance to be following up, to be connecting with your customers. Um, and Alex is gonna talk more about that. She's gonna dive into um, the how-to transition, um, but that is the basics of what this transition period looks like and how you can be utilizing it for your business, utilizing the discounts for your business and um, optimizing your February uh, in the right way, right? So we can start off the new season um, successfully, okay? All right, Alex, I'm going to pop it over to you. Okay. Thanks, girl. Okay, so I love transition month because to me, I feel like it keeps me on my toes. It keeps me very engaged and excited for what's to come. Um, as you guys know, we have access to the new catalog that launches in March, and that's really exciting. And so um, to me, it gets my wheels spinning and it gets me really excited for what's to come. And it's a really awesome opportunity for us to start getting ready to transition into the new catalog. But I want to say we do this in two parts during a transition month, okay? The first part of it is us finalizing our current catalog, okay? That's where we spend time on getting the sales for the current month that we're in. That's where we spend the time um, focusing on Scentsy Club and, um, and really closing out our current catalog season with a bang, okay? And so some really tangible ways that you can be doing this into your, um, into this month coming up is by getting rid of those um, business supplies that you have currently, okay? Making sure all of those catalogs um, get handed out to your customers. Make sure if you have a plethora of stuff, start labeling it and leaving it places that you go. If you go to the gym, put a few in the locker room. If you're going to the doctor's office, leave a few on the table. Make sure you are utilizing all of the marketing materials that you've purchased or that came in your starter kit. Get those out of your home, okay? Um, uh, slap a scented sticker on them or a, or a sticker saying that this is 10% off and get that stuff out of your house, okay? It's very important that we we are utilizing February to our advantage by getting sales, by um, getting PRV in our business currently, okay? We're super excited for what's to come in March, but we cannot sell that new catalog tomorrow, okay? That new catalog is in March and it's waiting for us in March and we are spending our month preparing for it to come. But to do that, we need to get rid of our current catalog stuff. So that's something that's super important is that you spend your time at least the first half of your month really getting those marketing materials out of your house, really talking to your customers about what's leaving. I love utilizing the discontinued list and I'm hoping tomorrow on our website, there will be a tab called Called, um, last chance with the items that are discontinuing in that tab. I really love sharing that. Okay. So I'm going to put that discontinued or last chance tab up on my link tree so I can share that. So when I'm following up, Hey, we have a lot of stuff leaving. I'll link my site in case you want to get a uh, browse. And then I link my link tree, which has all the links that I utilize often. And that top one will say last chance. Okay. So I'm utilizing that, that discontinued list. I'm printing it off, adding it to my orders and my mailings, okay? I'm sharing the link on social media with my customers, with my Instagram stories, with my network, okay? But then I'm also taking it a step further and I'm utilizing um, the sales reports that Sensi has um, for us in the um, reporting tab of the workstation, okay? In the reporting tab of the workstation, there is going to be a um, tab called, oh, I think it's the product history tab, Bree, do you know? Can you pull up what the tab is called? Um, the reporting, the report for um, the discontinued items. It might be called discontinued um, report or something similar. Either way, there is a report where you can type in the name of the scent, say cashmere and corduroy, and you can select all the cashmere and corduroy products, 
find your customers who are ordering that, and then you can target those customers with a very specific follow-up. Hey, I don't know if you saw, cashmere and corduroy is leaving. Now is a really great time to stock up on those fragrance flowers or car circles that you want. And then also, if you if you want to save the wax, you can lock it into your Scentsy Club, okay? Being able to um, give that targeted information to those customers that you know love the product, that you know love that specific scent, will be very helpful for you um, to get that PRV and even to get some new Scentsy Club subscribers, okay? Transition month for me is a huge month for Scentsy Club because I've had six months that my customers are falling in love with fragrances, okay? And so now I'm utilizing that momentum, that six months of my customers ordering Cider Mill or Blue Sage and Tonka, which by the way, I wonder if that made it to the new catalog. I didn't even check. Um, but they've been falling in love with these fragrances over the last six months. And so now is my opportunity. Now is my opportunity to get those customers joining Scentsy Club. Okay. So I want you guys to really encourage, I want to encourage you guys to really focus on Scentsy Club. Okay, good. Good for you. That's great news. Um, but um, transition month is a really awesome time for you to stay um, forward focus on your sales and even go further with like Scentsy Club. Okay. And so I want you guys to stay intentional about that. For me to be intentional about Scentsy Club is one, I'm offering it in my one-on-one -on -one conversations when I'm following up with people. I'm just letting them know that that's an option. Okay. And then, um, Two is that every single Sunday I do Scentsy Club Sunday, and that's where I talk about Scentsy Club. Every single Sunday I spend Sunday talking about Scentsy Club. Every single Sunday I remind customers of the perks. Every single Sunday I share people's clubs with them. Every single Sunday I talk about Scentsy Club. So you better believe every single Sunday in February I'm going to be sharing that discontinued list again, mentioning the perks again. I'm going really hard on that always get my bar feature, okay? And so that's something that you guys can be focusing on for February because not only do we have the discontinuing fragrances, but we also have bring back my bar that they're still having extra time to fall in love with and lock into your club, okay? Um, and then the last part of like finalizing the current catalog is um, is that we have an amazing join special. Bree's going to talk about that more in a bit. But um, for me, February is going to be heavy on sponsoring because you get the bigger kit. There's an amazing join special with amazing opportunity in there. And so, um, and it matches alongside the current incentive, which again, Bree's going to talk about. So I don't want to talk too much about it. But I want you guys to know for me personally in my business, February is going to be huge on team building because if I can get some new consultants in at the very beginning um, of this awesome, amazing momentum for this new um, catalog season, that's what I want to do. I want to help as many people as I can launch their business. And to me, doing it, um, starting from February is really giving them a great first step. Okay. And so, um, I just want you guys to know where my intention is going to be focusing on the first half of transition month. And really, um, throughout all of February is focusing on the, that discontinued list, getting those marketing materials out, focusing on Scentsy Club, join opportunities. Okay. That's my focus. Okay. Yes. Um, and with the incentive, it does give them extra time to um, certify, get their bearings, learn, understand, um, and like gives them such a confidence boost. Um, so that's what I'm going for. Okay. The, the first part of transition month is finalizing your current catalog season. Okay. Then the second part of transition month, in my opinion, is um, super fun and really exciting and um, really gets me personally motivated. And that's preparing for a new catalog season. Okay. So our new catalog season, as most of you guys know, launches March 1st. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys are running for as soon as that new catalog launches. For me, it's that diffuser shade. Cannot wait. I'm so excited for that. Okay. We are all super excited for this new catalog launching on March 1st. Okay. And as business owners, as consultants, we have some preparation to do to get ready for that. Okay. And so while we're working our current business in February, we're also prepping for March. And so again, um, February is a month where we have a lot of moving pieces and we really have to be locked in and intentional about what we're doing. And so some ways that I like to prepare in February 
um, for the new catalog is to book parties for the new catalog, okay? Because you can design all the labels and order all the supplies and have your list of stuff and you can be all excited. But if you're not doing anything with this excitement, if you are not preparing your business to get sales, then um, you're just preparing for, um, I, I don't know, for fun, I guess, right? So I really want to encourage you guys to use February as a opportunity to front load your calendar for the spring incentive, okay? So when I say book parties, I mean personal shopping links, um, grab bags, in-home parties, events, fundraisers, book things on your calendar for the spring and summer um, catalog, okay? And so a way that you can do this is by touching base with your past hosts. Go look at your last year in business and see who were my hostesses previous to this, okay? Personal shopping links, home parties, whatever, okay? Where are the event coordinators at the events that I've done in the past? Let me go check in with them, okay? Where are some places that I fundraised in the past or some ideas for places that I can fundraise for the spring catalog, okay? and go reach out, say, hey, okay, this is exactly what I'm gonna do for my fundraiser, okay? I did a fundraiser in the fall, I'm gonna do one for the same organization in the spring. Hey, Kelly, this is Alex with Scentsy. Hope you're doing good. Hope everyone's loving those scent circles. Just wanted to let you guys know, I just saw the new spring and summer catalog and it's going to be amazing. I'm super excited for the fragrance flower fundraiser that we talked about. Do you have a date? Let's nail down a date so I can put it on my calendar, okay? And so I know that she's going to want to do that in March or April. So that's great. I'm able to then put that on my calendar and know, okay, the, these two weeks in March, I know that I'm going to be doing a fundraiser. Okay. Then I'm following up with all my personal shopping links. Hey, Amanda, our new catalog just launched. It's going to be amazing. Do you want me to open you up a personal shopping link so you can share the fall and winter stuff while they're on sale and use your rewards to redeem the new catalog, right? Your past home party guests, right? That's a, or your past home party hostesses. That's a really great opportunity to be like, hey, Susan, so excited for the new spring catalog. Um, I'd love to send it to you. I'm booking parties for March. Let me know if you have a weekend available, right? Go book the parties, go ask, go shoot your shot, okay? As business owners, we hear no a lot. We get ghosted often, okay? That is literally part of business. And so the quicker you can stop taking it personally and just move on to the next opportunity, the better it's gonna be for success in your business, okay? They say out of, um, if you ask 10 people to book a party or to join or whatever, one of them is gonna be interested, okay? So that's a lot of hearing no. That's a lot of being ghosted. So the quicker you can come to terms with that and just know that it's not personal, that you're just doing your job, you're being a great consultant, you're providing great customer service, you're offering the opportunities available, the better your business will start finding success, okay? It's super important that we ask and we offer. That way we can see the fruits of our labor and we can have boosts of PRV, okay? We know the benefits of partying, Okay, we get higher PRB in a shorter amount of time. We increase our customer base. Um, it's easier to sponsor when we're um, hosting parties. Um, it's easier to get people interested in hosting their own party when we're hosting parties. So the benefits are endless to hosting parties. You just have to get them booked. Okay, so I want to encourage you guys as you walk into February to do your own um, booking blitz. Okay, that's where you sit down for 30 minutes, an hour, and you're like, okay, I'm going to go message this list of 20 people and ask them if they want to book a party with me. Okay. Think about it. If you're asking 20 people, what are the statistics of parties that you're going to book? It's two. Okay. So if you're trying to um, have an amazing catalog season, you're going to want to book more than one or two parties. Okay. And so just know that you're going to have to ask a lot of people. Super important to remember that just so you can brace yourself and you can be prepared um, and not get discouraged when you're not booking 20 parties after asking 20 people. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to mention that I think booking parties and filling up your calendar is going to be super important as we transition to the new catalog. Okay. Um, also, I think that this is a really amazing time for you guys, um, and myself to like organize your systems and make sure they're running smoothly. Okay. So like what follow-up system are you using right now? Brace yourself. 
make sure that that's the system that works for you. Okay. Same with your mailings, your emails, your newsletters, um, your deliveries, like whatever system you have in your business, make sure that they're in check, make sure that they're updated, make sure that you know what you're doing. Okay. It's again, that finding that level of consistency and committing to that, that's going to be super important. Okay. Because a lot of times, um, we start off strong and then it kind of, um, falls flat. And that's because one, we're relying on motivation and two, our systems are not secure. So therefore when we don't have the motivation or when things get busy or hard, we just kind of like put Sensi on the back burner because we're busy. Okay. The goal is to create systems and consistency in your business that even when you're busy or even though things are hard, you still know exactly what you should be working on. And again, you have a system for that. So, you know, when someone orders, this is what I do right? When a new product launches, this is how I advertise, right? Having those systems and um, maybe even writing them down, right? So when you get stuck, you can go look at your systems and you can be like, okay, this is what I need to be focusing on. Okay. It's going to be super, super important. Um, because again, a lot of moving pieces, we're going to be team building and training and learning new things. So having those systems are going to be important for you. Um, also important for your team as you build your team and you help them um, grow as well. They'll have questions, they'll have hangups. And if you have a system for the things that they have questions about, then you have opportunities and solutions to offer them. Okay. So just remember that. Um, and then also the fun part, the fun part to me of transitioning is making sure that your business supplies are ready to go for the new season, right? So we're getting rid of our current season um, marketing materials, but then we're also purchasing new season marketing materials, which is super exciting. I love, okay, first of all, I love the smell of a new pack of catalogs. Like that is like, oh my God, it smells so good. It's like, ah, oh, opportunity, the smell of opportunity. And that sounds so corny, but like, honestly, best smell ever. I love getting just all these marketing materials delivered to my door. And it's like, um, a blank canvas kind of, you know, it's just like the, the beginning of a great new season. And so it's super exciting times. And as of like 2 a.m. or tomorrow, the first, um, our business supplies are available to us. Okay. And read the news tab article because I don't know exactly like what's on sale, but I, I can tell you guys what I'm going to be grabbing when the catalog, um, when the marketing materials change. But beyond that, this is a really great time to get familiar with Canva. Um, you can use the free account. Canva is like a um, graphic design studio, right? And you'll see on the team page, we share a lot of Canva templates that you can just click that template, change the name in it, update the QR code and print it or have it printed, right? Um, Canva is a really great way for you to personalize your um, the marketing materials in your business. So it's a great time to kind of revamp that um, print stuff, right. Get things ready that are being shared by other consultants or printables available from the workstation. Um, but then also we are purchasing materials from the consultant store that will be available. Okay. So, um, I want to share some of the materials that I'm purchasing and my thoughts on some of these, um, because like Bree mentioned earlier, it's kind of changing the way that I, the way I did transition, season in the past um, does not look how I um, is not does not look the same way as I, I'm preparing for it now. Um, because things are a little bit different now, right? Um, and so everyone's needs are going to be slightly different. And so what I'm getting don't feel like you have to get the exact same things. Or, um, you know, what I'm not getting, if it's something that you want to get, get it or vice versa, right? If I'm getting something that you know, for sure, doesn't make sense for your business, don't get it. It's totally fine. There's no exact rules on what you should or shouldn't get. Um, and also if I don't cover everything, I want to say I posted on the team page today, um, a video by another leader in Sensi, and she does a really amazing job explaining the transition materials available, um, plus like the cost and stuff. Um, so just know that there is a wide variety, uh, a wide variety of materials that are going to be available tomorrow to purchase, for, um, for every budget. Okay. And I personally love all of it for different things. And so I'm going to tell you the items that I'm going to be running for. Okay. So starting with, um, something that I think picked up a lot of momentum during the COVID times was our handy dandy rub and smell stickers. Okay. Um, because they're super affordable for $3, you get 72 stickers. Okay. The rub and smell part of it lasts 
for a really long time. These are a really, 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 really great way to share fragrances with mass amounts of people for super cheap. Okay. I do fun things. Um, again, not created by me, shared by another leader, but I do these like little rack cards that I add to my mailings and I can put scented stickers on them. Okay. Um, and so it's a really awesome way to share a lot of different fragrances, super cheap. They're flat. So they mail with the stamp, like an amazing investment. And so with 10 new fragrances at $3 each, that's $30 in scented stickers. Okay. That might seem like a bigger investment, but I'm telling you to be able to, um, get those out to 72 people per one pack of scented stickers is an amazing value. Okay. And so it might be a bigger investment at the beginning, right? I'm um, shelling out $30 for all these scented stickers. Um, and you don't have to do that. Maybe you can grab your six most interesting ones that you're in, uh, the six, you know, ones that you're most interested in, or maybe you have some ones from the past catalog seasons that are going, going to show up in the spring and summer ones. You can use those too. Okay. But I love them. I will certainly be running towards them. I will say though, um, in the past, those are what sell out quickly because I think a lot of consultants see the value in these scented stickers. So to me, I'm running to those. Okay. Those are amazing. Next up are the uh, the transition testers. So transition. So when you get to the consultant store, you will see a full set of transition, or you will see a full set of testers. I'm sorry, and you're also going to see a set of transition testers. Okay. Now, if you already have testers from your starter kit, you will only need the transition testers. And what you'll do is you'll take your discontinued list, you'll pull out all the ones that are leaving, the maple apple bourbon, the cashmere and corduroy, the very snowy spruce. You're gonna take all those out. You can put them aside. You can save them for next year. You can give them to your customers. You can do whatever you want with them, okay? There's lots of options for your testers, okay? But you'll move those to the side and then you'll pour in that bag of transition testers to the remaining testers in your thing. Okay. And then you'll have a full set of testers. That's the best way to have a full set of testers. Okay. Now, if you've lost some testers or you lent them out and forgot to pick them up or whatever, and you want a full set, grab the full set of testers. It will be the spring and summer plus the classics. Okay. You'll have a full set of testers. Okay, I don't want to be the one that's like, it's not necessary because I see the value in testers. I will likely be getting a transition set, maybe not right away, maybe later in the month. I'll be getting a transition set so I can with my local customers be like, I have a new sense, I'll deliver them and you can borrow it for a weekend or something, okay? Um, so that's great. If you have local customers and you'll want to put together grab bags and lend out your testers, I highly recommend doing that. You could get a few transition testers. So you could have two sets out. You could get one set of transition testers and mix them in so where you have a full set and then you can split that full set up. You can keep that full set together, whatever that looks like for you. Okay, there's many different ways that you can do it. It's really gonna be whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but I'm at a point in my Sensi journey where I'm like, I don't know that the testers are even 100% necessary. Okay. If I'm going to get the scented stickers and I'm going to make samples throughout the catalog season, um, and I've been doing really well with personal shopping links and fundraisers and other ways to work my business. Hey, maybe testers are not the first thing I'm running towards, right? Maybe I have other priorities to get first and I can get those testers later. Um, or say I book a home party and then I'm going to invest in the testers, right? So use your discretion. Um, it's an interesting time where I'm like, I don't know that I need them right away, right? And so I just want to let you in on kind of that um, thought process and that change that I myself am having as I kind of step back and simplify my business after recognizing that I was maybe making it a little more complicated than I should have in the past. Now I'm kind of backtracking and simplifying a little bit more. So, you know, just something to think about. How does it fit in for you and your business? Um, and then, you know, get the testers or don't, right? Either way. Okay. Um, some other business supplies that I will be running towards is the product sheets. So I love these. These are, I think, $9 for 150 of them, which is a really, really amazing value. Um, this is just a quick little sheet. Okay. It's like a, a little bit bigger than a piece of paper front and back has everything that's in the catalog, but just smaller and not a lot of detail. Okay. But it is color. So you can see the colors. Um, and it does have information about how big they are, the type of glow that's on them. And then I use these in my mailings. 
Okay, I just put these in my mailings with a scent circle. Um, they, they're super flat, lightweight. They mail super um, cheap with a stamp. And so I love them. I love the product sheets a lot, mostly for my mailing. Okay, and then there's the catalogs that we'll have access to. So you can get a catalog. It'll be a pack of 20. Um, and the catalogs are the best way to share the full experience with Scentsy. So obviously you guys know detail on every single page, gorgeous um, information on the different products, like full picture of Scentsy products in the Scentsy catalog. Um, I'm pretty stingy with my catalog. So um, these were going out um, just like probably to the masses one time with this catalog season. And then I'm handing them out sparingly throughout the season. Okay. Mostly to my local orders, my Scentsy clubbers, my big spenders. Okay. They get a catalog. The other thing I love so much, so much is I love our showcase brochures. Okay. They're like four pages. They're beautiful. They're glossy paper, high color. Um, amazing. Again, they're flat and can even be folded up and put into an envelope. Okay. So this would be what I send in the mail instead of a catalog this season, because they still will send with a non-machinable stamp um, in an envelope, which I love. Okay. So product brochures are really great. Also, I add these to my local orders a lot. And then also if I'm doing a fundraiser, I'm using either um, the, pro the product sheet or the showcase brochure because they're a more affordable way to share to the masses. Okay. Um, and then you'll also have access to like the product training guide. Hopefully they will revamp some of our brochures, the cleaning, the laundry. Um, they're going to be taking away the pets brochures. Okay. But um, so all of that will be updated for the new catalog season. And so you'll see um, when you go in there tomorrow that we are able to purchase for the new um, season. And that's going to be really important as we prepare. Okay. So for me, I'm trying to get out all my supplies and then probably in about a week and a half or so, I'm going to start adding that spring and summer stuff into my mailings, into um, my local orders and things like that. But my first goal is to get rid of all of the fall and winter stuff plus the discontinued list, okay? So just know as you are navigating transition month, you really are juggling two different sides of business, okay? You're juggling the right here, right now, SWAT, sell what's available today, get those results, get those Sensi clubs, have those joint conversations, offer things, but then also on the back end, um, like the consultant end of things, you're preparing, okay? You're ordering supplies, coming up with a plan of action, filling your calendar. You are really prepping for this new season that's going to be here before you know it, okay? So lots of information to take in, especially if this is your first transition. So don't feel super overwhelmed. Know that we are all navigating this together. And if you have questions or need more clarification, certainly ask, okay? Definitely ask for more clarification. Work with your upline, your sponsor, your director, um, or even just reach out on the team page, like make a post and ask some questions so we can clarify things. But, but um, the information's out there on your um, news tab as well. So please be sure that you're reading that in its entirety, okay? They're easy to skim over, especially I think a few weeks ago, it was like 13 new news tab articles, right? It might take a while to get through some of them, pace yourself, but just know that it's important that we are reading that information too, so we can be valuable consultants as we go share our knowledge with our customers and our team, okay? Um, and so that's how we prepare for transition month. But before we go, we have some really fun and exciting things happening in February that I think deserve a whole moment of our time. Um, and so I'm gonna pass it to Bree and she's going to really dive into some fun programs that we can look forward to as we enter February. Um, so I'm gonna pass that to her. If y'all have any additional questions, put them in the comments and then stay tuned after the recording because we're gonna do our coffee wheel too. So. Um, there you go, Brie. Yeah, I could use a coffee um, for sure. <laughs> we haven't been able to leave the house in like two days because of this ice storm. So I'm like, man, I'd really love a chai from Starbucks right now. Um, okay, so unrelated. Um, so yeah, the first thing that I want to talk about, and again, this is stuff that's starting tomorrow, right? Not necessarily pertinent to the spring and summer catalog, but things that we can look forward to and be um keeping in the back of our mind and working on um, and bettering in our business. And so 
the first one is that enhanced join kit. So if you watch the end of month live, that was literally my favorite part. Like so many amazing things coming. The spring and summer catalog is going to be awesome. But I think that this enhanced join kit literally is like fire to get us through the month of February. And it's going to um, really set in motion some really great business practices as far as having joint conversations and then getting people in this business who see the vision, who are excited about what's going on um, for the long term, right? So if you weren't on the end of month um, call, again, like Alex said, going to your news tab, reading the review, there will be details about it, I'm sure in the morning. Um, but this enhanced join kit, like I said, we always have an enhanced join kit in the transition month, which means that you're going to get both the fall and winter, or you're going to, yeah, this, this time, right? You're going to get the fall and winter um, testers and catalogs and uh, testers and catalogs. And then you're also going to get the spring and summer testers and catalogs, um, which is really amazing. That happens every transition uh, season is they offer this enhanced join kit. But since he's like, we're going to up the ante on this a little bit, and we're going to make it super special for the people who are joining in the month of February, they're going to get 10 of the new scents for the spring and summer, 10 bars of it inside their kit, right? So one bar of each new scent. So they're getting that 10 bars um, in their join kit, which is literally mind blowing in my opinion. Um, I love that. That would 100% send me over the edge if I was considering joining Sensi. So that is a huge talking point to your best customers, right? Those customers who you're like, man, they'd make a really great consultant. Now is the time to start having that conversation with them um, because getting those 10 bars in your, in your uh, join kit is a big deal, right? And then the second part of this enhanced join kit is where your... Uh, participation as their sponsor matters and also um, opening the door for them seeing the vision of what this NC business has is huge. Okay. So the second part of this join promotion in February is going to be that if you're, if a new consultant hits sensational start level three, they will, and remember they have 70 days to do that. They will earn their registration completely paid for for Sensi Family Reunion this year. Y'all, that is insane. Like, I wish this was a thing all the time because to me, that's one of the best rewards you can give a new consultant is to give them the opportunity to show up to an event and take some of the financial burden off. Who wouldn't love free registration to SFR? Uh, your girl right here, like I would love for my registration to be paid for, right? So this is a huge opportunity for us as sponsors, for us as consultants already in this business, and especially those who have already gone to SFR. This needs to be a hot topic for you when you are talking to um, new consultants, because if you're not getting them in with the products and things like that, maybe the 10 bars don't, um, don't engage them to join. Uh, then maybe the flip side of that is the community. And they're going to get a front row, interactive, totally immersive um, opportunity to be a part of that community at Sensi Family Reunion. And I'm telling you guys, like seriously, taking the, bur the financial burden of registration off of people is huge, okay? So um, that is literally my favorite part. I think that this um, enhanced join promotion has the ability to blow the top off of our recruiting um, like we've never seen, right? But it starts with you. It starts with having the conversations with the people who um, you have been watching, who you know could use this opportunity, who you know could better their lives with this opportunity, who have um, you know goals of being able to go on date nights or fill up their car or whatever. Like those opportunities start with you opening your mouth, right? And and not just having conversations with them, but also showing what the opportunity is doing for you. So. Truly, if you are planning on going to Sensi Family Reunion or you've been to Sensi Family Reunion, here's how I'm going about this. 
I'm going to be posting pretty regularly about Sensi Family Reunion, just casually in my stories, on my VIP page. I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be sharing what this community looks like so that I can kind of pull in some of those people um, who are looking for community. I'm going to be doing that with my customers um, throughout this month so that when they start asking questions like, what is that? Like, wh what are you talking about? What's SFR? Boom. I can tell them SFR is blah, blah, blah. And actually like when you become a consultant this month, you have an opportunity to earn registration for it for free. And the way that they can do that, you can read all the details about it, but like it, it is not, if somebody puts their feet to the fire when they join this business, they can earn it. Like it's, it's not a huge thing to do if they are focused on it. Right. And it is 100% worth the effort. So um, that's how I'm going to be trying to bring in those new people with that. And then I'm also going to be like taking pictures of 10 new bars, me holding 10 new bars and saying, who wants 10 new bars for free? Who wants to smell the spring and summer scents right now? Like who wants, who wants these at their doorstep in two days, right? Because starter kits ship out wicked fast, right? So I'm going to be doing these things to uh, prompt people to ask me questions about what are you talking about, right? Um, leave a little mystery, right? Like throwing out that there's a join kit. Yes, you can do that 100%. But I also expect you to be having conversations with people behind the scenes, which I'm also going to be doing. My goal is to recruit three people this month. Matter of fact, I have somebody joining tomorrow and I was just texting somebody else about joining. I, I am like determined to make sure that everybody that I know has an opportunity to get this kit and to get to SFR this year. Like no joke. Okay. That is my driving goal. So um, this enhanced join kit is just literally going to be so amazing. So I can't wait to see how you guys are using it. Um, how many people are joining our family this month? Like it is going to be fire. Um, and again, it's what I'm most pumped up about. So best believe we'll be coming back and talking about that um, throughout the month. But it is just, I'm so excited. And I think since he hit this join promotion out of the park, it's literally my favorite one we've ever had. Um, Okay, and I talked about this already, right? We have a discount on our catalog starting tomorrow, 10% up to 30% off. I told you what my guess was. We'll leave it at that, but we do have a discount on our catalog all month long. Things that you, something that you should note that I didn't specify before with this um, catalog and the transition, um, the things that are discounted because they are going away do understand that they are now starting tomorrow while supplies last. So if fluffy fleece, the Scentsy bar um, or the scent circle, that could sell out tomorrow, right? That could be gone tomorrow because now it's while supplies last. Scentsy's not going to go make more product for the rest of the month. So um, this is a good reminder to not be holding orders for a super long time. If you've got customers who are wanting a lot of the discontinued stuff or whatever, you need to make sure that you're managing that well, because things will start selling out, especially the things that are at a higher discount. So take note of that tomorrow as we see those discounts be reflected on our sites. Um, just take note that those things will be selling out faster. I expect Sensi Soap to be gone within like a week, okay? Truly, people are going to be so uh, stocking up on that Sensi Soap. So if you have favorites, if you know your customers have favorites, like y'all this week, I know it's Tuesday, I would be following up with your customers, making that a priority this week to make sure that they're getting what they want, because when it's gone, it's gone. OK, um, catalog staples, things that are staying, you know, like Luna, Black Eyes, Red, like those things, things that are staying in the catalog, um, scents that are staying in the catalog. You don't have to worry about it's the things that are leaving that could be gone in a flash. And so just make sure that, again, you're managing that well with your customers and Please set proper expectations, not just for your customers, but for yourself. Okay. Um, I'm telling you now, like, you know, things will sell out. Um, so just manage that well. Okay. Manage that the best you can. Um, if you have to go scream into a pillow or text your accountability partner that you're frustrated, totally fine. Right. But just be careful how that comes across to your customers um, and to your team. Okay. Um, 
And then the last part of what's new that I'm super excited about, you guys, is this new incentive, right? So if you haven't checked your workstation, um, which I hope that you have, um, but since he did post what our three-part um, incentive will look like, and it's starting tomorrow, like, ooh, they're like, yeah, great job with this incentive, but here we go again, you know, but um, as, as exhausting as that might feel in a moment, when you look at how this new incentive is broken down, it should be a huge relief to you because since he is doing something very similar to what we've experienced in the past with Grow With The Flow and Brick by Brick incentive, where they're breaking it down into three separate um, sections of this incentive. And so you're going to have a super laser focused area that you're working towards in a three month period, I believe it is. February, March, April. Yeah. So you're going to have three months to work on this recruiting aspect, right? Um, you're going to have the three months to be recruiting people. Um, and then we have no idea. I, I, I actually think that it might be being posted tomorrow on the incentive page. We should get all details tomorrow. Maybe they're not going to name what the second and third part was, because I know they didn't do that with the brick by brick, but um, the, the, uh, the awards that you can get for earning this incentive, either level by level or all three of them um, combined are amazing, like so good. They've changed up the prizes. And um, in my opinion, the spring and summer incentive, the way that they're doing it with breaking it up into the three sections and um, basically biting off little by little and really focusing in on the areas of our business that build our businesses bigger, right? The three legs of success. Um, in my opinion, I think that this is the best way to do it because it gives us, um, gives us time to put focus on intentional systems with these areas of our business, right? So tomorrow we're focusing on recruiting. Okay. So if your system for having joint conversations or coaching people is not where you want it to be, then you need to be working on that, right? You have three months to work on that um, and to really hone that in so that the rest of the year you can continue to build your team and build that, build on that system so that you are making the best out of your joint conversations and your coaching. Okay. Um, and so we will get full details hopefully tomorrow, but, um, oh, I know what I was going to say. The best part about this three-part incentive to me is that um, it's bite-sized chunks that give you the confidence to go for the big incentives, like the one we're just coming out of, right? So if you're like, okay, I'm new, I don't know what this incentive thing is about, this is a great one to jump into. If you um, were part of this in incentive and trying to earn it and you got super close, this is where you hone in on those skills where you're like, oh, I just barely missed it with the PRV or I just barely missed it with the, with the sponsoring points. Great, now you know where your area of focus is, right? That is the purpose of incentive. It is shining a spotlight on the things that build our business bigger. And it also highlights the areas that we need to focus on in our business because those are the areas that we struggle with, right? Those are the areas that are a little harder to reach or that we're really pushing for, right? So all these people that I see are like so close and so close and it's PRV based, then they know that their struggle is PRV and that they need to be working on higher PRV on a month to month basis, right? That is the purpose of these incentives. Um, and so we can expect that the focus of uh, the next two parts of this incentive will probably be PRV based. Um, I know last time they did Sensi Club um, or the time before that, I know they focused on Sensi Club on one of them. And then they also focused on catalog items, selling catalog items, right? Which I loved. So um, I can't wait to see what they roll out for these other two parts. But tomorrow begins a whole new incentive, you guys right? Day one, moment one. There is no reason why you should be counting yourself out. Even if you have no people on your team, you guys, I literally just talked about the enhanced join kit that you need to be talking to people about it, right? I don't care if you joined last week, you have every opportunity to step into this incentive, step into join conversations, step into the opportunity that you have to build your business, um, in a much bigger and, um, more successful way, whatever success looks like for you, right? Nobody's measuring that but you, um, but you have every opportunity and tomorrow's a great month to do that.